All right, so believe it or not, when they announced Mortal Kombat 11, the one character, the one character I wanted to play in Mortal Kombat 11 was Jade. Eventually, when we got the second beta, I started using Jade. I did not like the way she was played. Eventually, I said, you know what, I'm just going to wait till Mortal Kombat 11 comes out. I'll go to practice mode. I'm pretty sure I'll find some cool shit about her. Before Combat League was a thing, you know, you could do ranked or casual matches. And I started playing a lot of online matches, and I ran into a lot of Jade players, and I just told myself, what the fuck is this? Fuck this character. I want nothing to do with this character. So why do people hate Jade? I'm going to try to be, I'm not going to try to be biased in this video. The reason why people hate Jade more than any other character, more than Scorpion, and more than Sub-Zero, is because you feel robbed. You feel robbed when you, like, you don't need to use Jade at a high level to beat high level players. How many times, think about this, how many times have you guys watched a stream of supposed high level player or a high level player? They're playing combat league matches. They go to the character select screen, you hear that, cha -cha, Jade. And you just get a reaction like, oh, fuck this bitch. Oh, I'm going to back out. Or, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, fuck. Like, people just, like, they're going to get put through hell. They just know it's like, fuck. Uh, there's a good chance I'm going to play against a shitty player and they're going to get the best out of me. So what about Jade really pisses people off? One of the biggest things is that she is the most dangerous when she's knocked down on the floor. When Jade is waking up, that's when she's at her most dangerous. If you accidentally throw a high up, like crushing blow uppercut. If you, like, don't time your mid properly. Crushing blow uppercut. If you even give this bitch space, they're going to jump out and throw a fucking projectile at you. That's a fucking mid. 14 frames mid. Yeah. Fuck me, right? She has way too many options in, like that work. That This shit is real. This uppercut shit is just real. And not only that, people just, like, pe nobody plays the best versions of themselves when they play Jade. People are just, they psych each other out. Like, people start getting caught by stupid shit like this. And then, yeah, this is probably a bread and butter Jade combo in Combat League they're going to run into. It is. Like, you're going to get caught by this. You know, you're, you can react to this shit. And, and here's the problem. Here's another problem. There's a problem there. What happens is, you know, like, if you try, for example, if I'm Aaron Black, if I try dashing up and going to my highs or whatever, because it is possible. Like you could dash up in time and do that. Or even if I try throwing my fastest mid, that fucking uppercut will still hit me. It happens to me so many times with certain characters. That's like, fuck, if you don't have a fast mid, yeah, you're minus 13, you know, right there. There's a good fucking chance, especially online, that even you block this shit and guess right, and it's your turn. She will fucking uppercut you. Crushing blow, and you're fucking like, you're gonna lose 30, 40, whatever fucking percent. And you just feel robbed. Every time she does finish doing a string, how many times does that happen to you? You tried going in for a grab, and for some reason, it just doesn't register, and boom. You get uppercutted, or you try going to, like, you're, like, you can't throw highs against this character. You cannot throw highs at Jade. It's just, you have to land down one, and pray that the Wi-Fi is neutral. If not, you're going to get hit by this shit. So there's that. Her uppercut is just stupid. Is it broken? No, but it's just online. It, it like buffs this move. It really does. You know, if you try doing this shit offline, I will fucking dog walk you. But online, it's like, fuck me. Next is her fucking zoning and her supposed neutral game. Jade players don't need to really play neutral. They just don't. Like, they have this shit that's just so fucking fast, and they amplify it, and it's like, fuck me, right? They have the purple bullshit, they have pro really annoying projectiles, shit like that, and they don't really need, like, and then you'll even get hit by stupid shit like this, and then they'll go in on you, and it's just up to you as a player to be patient against it. If you're patient, and you're in the right mindset against Jade, Jade is fucking... If you're gonna play against a Jade player that uses these fucking loser scrub tactics, that's just not gonna work against you. But if you're just like psyching yourself, like, oh, I have to play against this bitch, and getting frustrated, she won. Like, she's going to beat you. Let's just be real. 
Is Jade a bad character? Absolutely not. I don't think she's a bad character. She has a good down four. She has an 11 frame mid. I like her damage. Depends on the variation you're using. Um, she has really good options in her variations, like in her abilities. I, I, Jade is actually not that bad. It's just she has a really scarred rep, rep, reputation. It's like really bad. Like, um, am I trying to shit on Jade players right now? I'm not. I'm really not. It's just this is what a lot of people run into. This is what a lot of people like talk about and that they freaking hate. Jade has a fucking cult like following. It's like right up there with Molina. You know, like people really fuck with Jade, but it's like. It's either one way or the other. It's either a lot of Jade players, they don't know shit about fighting games. They use her because they think she's cool. And like, oh, waking up uppercut, that works or whatever. And it'll work or whatever. Or jumping out on wake up. And like, they don't know shit about being minus or plus. That's cool. Whatever, right? But there's players that they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They're probably better than what they are. But they just do this scrub ass shit that frustrates players. And they'll be all the way back here just zoning and throwing shit. And they try to, like, rank up through super easy in Combat League. And it's like, I guess, you know, I guess. It's like, might as well, you know, if I'm going to play against Jade, I'll just use fucking Shang and fucking Dog Walker. But, like, it's like, what's the fucking point of that and playing like this? And people, people abuse it. People abuse that they know that Jade is such a fucking scrub-friendly character. It just is what it is. She's very, very scrub-friendly. Um... Could she be used at a high level? Absolutely. You guys seen Tekken Master in that last tournament? He was dog walking motherfuckers with Jade. Like, he's playing her really good. I like the way Waz uses Jade. His his Jade is hilarious. Like, he'll be timing your ass out. Like, and like super patient with her. It's like there are good Jade players out there. But what I'm just trying to say is like how a ton of Jade players are run into that they really abuse this shit. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Shit, the other day I posted a video of me playing Combat League matches online. I'll play that shit once a blue moon. And I played against a Jade player that made me so pissed off. I started teabagging the shit out of her. And it was just like, man, like, jumping out on Wake Up. Just jumping at you. And it's like, fuck, the bitch could be really annoying to anti-air. It's like, bottom line, Jade robs a lot of players. People just feel robbed when they play against Jade. You don't need to play Jade at a high level to beat high level players. I've seen high level players get their ass beat by trash ass Jade players. Like just pathetic Jade players. And it's well, it, it happens. It is what it is. It fucking happens. Um, do I really. I If I could delete a character from Mortal Kombat 11, it is Jade, but it's not like that. It's really. It's not that serious. My A lot of problems I find with the Mortal Kombat community is that they really take their characters personal like they act like they know these fucking characters uh, these characters are fucking real oh you attack my baby jade fuck you and this like dude who cares people talk shit about my characters all the time all the time i never get offended it's like dude who fucking cares you don't like aaron black that's cool you think rambo is trash that's cool i really i don't really fucking care it's like it is what it is it's a fucking game who cares so you know if you're gonna start typing in comments like oh you're just mad because i'll suck my dick first of all it's just dude yeah, I mean, just, this is just an observation. This is just something that's real. People despise Jade, and I just happen to be one of those as well. Um, but I do think Jade is a cool-looking character. I, like, as people can say what they want, I think she's a cool character. Um, it's just, I have pride in this fucking game, and I don't want to use this bitch. It's just one of those things. I just don't want to do it. Like, I'm pretty sure if, you know, if I play matches with subs all the time, and... Like, when they use Jade, I just, like, oh, my God. They always get a reaction out of me. That's why people pick Jade, because people get a reaction out of me. So, there's that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you holla back. Check you bastards later. Deuces.